Well, if you don't know now, which I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be hyped about this. I'm, I'm trying to make my videos more hype and happy and energetic. But this character, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I think it's like Rebriani. Rebriani. I'm just gonna call her Rebri. I in the show, I thought she was just funny. I thought she was a funny character. Obviously, she was pretty powerful to handle. She can handle her own, but for her to be the next DLC character for Xenoverse 2, I, now I just want to throw everything out, with, out the window and just be like, just make it Xenoverse 3. I'm, I'm tired of these DLCs. Just don't... I'm not mad that she is the next DLC character. I'm kind of okay with it. I feel like she brings down Vegeta God a little bit, but hey, we're getting Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Whatever. Great. I think this is the first time he's going to officially be in the game. But, uh... Kept the serious face all the way through. And the fact that she's getting six brand new, six, you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six brand new moves. That's like the max, not counting transformations or evasions. Six brand new moves. Now, one of them may be an evasion. I don't know. If one of them's an evasion, then technically five new moves. I don't really count evasions or transformations, depending on who you are. But the fact that she is being a full fledged brand new character, and I'm pretty sure her combos are going to be different as well, it kind of pisses me off. Because I look at Jurin with his weird looking upside down triangle model with legs. Yeah, a reverse pair. He just... With only three new moves, if I remember correctly, it's Meditation, uh, Power Impact, and Power Rush. Those are the main three new moves from him that we got when he was released with Ultra Instinct Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku, we didn't get shit. Because it's Ultra Instinct Goku, I guess. I'm okay with like we, no, us not having God displayed. That's already a pretty powerful move. Um... Six brand new. I, I just can't get over the fact that she's getting six brand new moves. I don't. I don't understand why this character, why super fledged out. And it made me think. Man, people were kind of pissed when Goku was announced because people were like, oh, too many. It's, it's just a game of Goku's. Too many Gokus in the game. But one thing you gotta think about is the show is revolved around Goku. I. If they were sold, if Vegeta God and Rebri were sold separately. Like how Fighters does their character system. I would have been okay with it. I just would have bought Vegeta God and be okay with it. And when I, I would have done his quest and not do Rebreeze. I would have been completely fine. But knowing how norm, how their system normally is, or at least how I see the system. I don't know if it's different on Xbox or PC. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I, I'm kind of forced to buy both characters. And I, I really don't want to use rebreed she may be the next op character in the game but it's, it's just the principle of her being a fully fleshed out character that pisses me off i just understand uh, let, let me let me know what you guys think i'm it's, so far i already know that a lot of people are pissed off at this but if you have a different opinion if you think she's she's a great character to add to the roster let me know and give me your opinion why um i hope you enjoyed the video I just want to make sure to get my opinion out on this because I've been, every time I scroll through YouTube, I see uh, Super Saiyan Cabby talk about it 24 7. Um, it's just annoying. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Leave me a comment in the section below on what you think about this character. And just remember, guys, the best life is Nerd's life. Ciao.